If the Florida legislator repeals the requirement of PIP insurance, what does that mean for you? Well, lucky for us, Catherine Stone from Barbus Law is here to help us. I know you're always on the cutting edge with what is changes could be made. How could it affect you and car insurance? This is a big one, the this dreaded PIP. What's going on? Well, um, just last week, the House of Representatives in the state of Florida legislature um, had their second reading of a bill that would totally repeal the no fault laws here in the state of Florida. So they get another third reading and then they uh, fit, will officially pass that bill in the House. The Senate also has a very similar bill um, with regards to the repeal of PIP. So as a reminder to everyone, PIP is your no fault insurance, which means you're covering up to $10,000 worth of medical bills for yourself at no fault. So if you cause the accident and you're injured, you've got 10,000 under your automobile insurance to cover that first 10,000 in medical care. Um, and that is a requirement in the state of Florida right now. You must have PIP insurance up to $10,000 and you must have property damage coverage. There is no requirement, however, that you have bodily injury coverage which covers someone that you cause injuries to. And that's the big debate right now um, with regards to should someone be required to cover someone else's injuries that you may cause. In fact, Florida is one of the few states left that actually has PIP. We are in the minority with regards to nationwide. Uh, I think there's only about 10 or 12 states that have PIP insurance. You know, always Florida gets this bad rap, or at least, you know, this is just, of course, people speaking maybe educatedly, maybe not so much, but the no fault. Is this kind of go into the play of that and that would alleviate? And so people say that that's the reason our premiums tend to be higher than Correct. other states. Yes. Now, on the flip side and where a lot of the debate on the other side is, is they're going to now require or could potentially require you have that bodily injury coverage at a higher level. Um, so it could be, I think one of the bills is at 25,000 per person, 50,000 for two or more people, or 30,000 for one person, 60,000 for two or more people. Um, so those are the two bills right now that are that are going up and it's getting fast tracked through the legislation. I would not be surprised if we don't have some form of repeal. Now the House bill has it come becoming effect automatically. The Senate bill has it kind of progressively rolling into the repeal of um, PIP insurance, but it's going to be it's going to be a major thing for everyone in the state of Florida. I'll say two things are coming to mind right now. Why? and how does it affect us? So first, why? Why is this something I think there's a, a big at? push that um, there, you're required to cover yourself, but if you cause an accident, there's no requirement that you have covered any injuries with regards to someone else that you have injured or in some cases even killed mm -hmm. with regards to your vehicle. So um, it's going basically what we call the tort system. Um, and that's what a lot of the states have gone to. Um, basically here in Florida, it's protect yourself and protect property. Hence not, the no fault. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons they're changing is to go with what more and they states also, have. And they also say that it will lower premiums. Um, now I have um, been trying to read up as much as possible mm -hmm. on this and obviously there's a lot of Yes, no, maybe, who yeah, knows. Yeah. Um, I think it's yet to be seen, but I think that's the one of the goals that they're trying for is to potentially lower premiums okay. um, here in the state of Florida. Um, but it'll be a game changer with, with regards to automobile accidents. Interesting, so a game changer, and that was gonna answer my last question, the how. Premiums, hypothetically. It could. can affect your premiums, hopefully for the better. Yeah. Um, and it will also, um, hopefully you won't have a situation which we encounter a lot, which is a, a person comes into our office, they've been involved in an accident that was not their fault, and the other person only has property damage to cover my client's um, repair of their vehicle, but no coverage to cover my client's injuries. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I appreciate you coming in so much, talking about what changes we need to see, because I think this is important information to get out there. Now, say you have some specific questions, and you've got questions about know your rights. We'll go ahead, give Barbus Law a call, 1-800-BARBUS-LAW, or go to barbuslaw.com slash know your rights.